Hello friends, I'm Michael from The Recovery Team and we always try to give you the most beneficial and useful practical data solutions. Today, very specific topic, we'll figure out what to do in case your external hard drive tells you the parameter is incorrect when you try to attach it to your Windows. Let's get started! This issue is unfortunately not rare when it comes to external hard drives and very often, even more unfortunately, can refer to a hardware problem. Therefore, today we're going to focus on these situations where it's possibly a non-hardware issue. If you have come across the problem, this video might clear your doubts. Before we begin solving the problem, let us talk about what can lead to your operating system failing to access the drive and showing you the parameter is incorrect. First option, and it's a big one, getting virus or malware, which is inevitable. A single wrong operation in your PC or any component may get prone to a virus. In case your hard drive gets infected with virus or malware, it may get unapproachable and you may receive the parameters incorrect under Windows 10, even Windows 8 and 7. Second major suspect, while working with any of your USB drives or external drives, we need to be extra careful. A lot of people directly remove it with no proper ejection and as a result, the drive or the devices may get destroyed and therefore, when you attach a disk or drive before taking it out, make sure to use the so popular safely remove feature. And I know nobody has time for safely remove, but do you have a few hours later on to fix your file system or to recover all the files? I don't think so. When a sudden power surge occurs, it could happen that your external drive loses any kind of power source and it's kind of very similar to the unsafe removal because, again, there's the great possibility that it could be a corruption of your file system or even worse, a permanent damage to the hardware of your external drive. Going next, USB port. It acts like connection between the PC and your external peripherals, so if the port itself fails to function properly or becomes weak, it can directly affect the removable drive and makes it inaccessible. Hence, it is possible that your hard drive has been damaged due to this, and therefore, you might see this message about parameter incorrect. No matter what has caused this issue, the possible outcomes are a few. If you're lucky, you're gonna see the parameter is incorrect error, and you're still going to be accessing your data, if you're not so lucky, uh, you're going to see the error and the data is going to remain inaccessible. Or even the worst scenario, you see that and totally no sign of life left in your hard drive. So, let's figure out how to solve this. The first method I'm going to show in Windows is using the inbuilt repair utility tool and it's called the check disk. To begin with it, first make sure that your external drive is connected to the computer. Now open the command prompt in your computer. To do this on Windows 7, press the Start button and then type CMD in the search box and press the Enter key. Similarly, you can do that on Windows 8 or 10. Just select the command prompt, better run it as administrator. When the command prompt is ready, let's type CHKDSK and then you type the drive letter, which we are going to recover slash F slash R. Press enter and wait patiently. The F parameter stands for fix, so there's going to be an attempt to fix any issues with the file system, and R is going to bring the external drive into read-only mode so that it guarantees that during this operation there are going to be no I.O. actions happening. If that doesn't help, we go to the second idea. SFC, which stands for System File Checker which can assist you by scanning your system as well and fixing files that went corrupted. Here are the steps. We again open the command prompt and we type SFC slash scan now. And we press the enter button. This is going to initiate the SFC scan process. When it is over, you can go and reboot your PC and I'll figure out if you can access your hard drive and whether the message is going to come again. If that annoying message appears again, then we suggest going for the last possible resort, which is to format the drive. Unfortunately, this is going to delete everything which is existing in terms of data. So here's how to do that. Plug in your external drive to the PC, if not done yet. Then go to my computer, right click on the drive, select format from the drop down menu and hit OK. And you're going to have to mention the volume label, and the file system 
and make sure that the Perform a Quick Format option is selected, click the OK button, wait a few seconds, and we're done. I know Method 3 is most likely going to be the more reliable solution, especially if your hard drive is rather healthy. Thing is that with formatting the drive, we lose a lot of data. Very often this is kind of precious data because usually on an external drive we save important photos, important documents, which we don't back up to other places. And at the end, if you lose them, that could be irreversible. Or if you have recover it around, that can kind of change the game. So let's find out how we can easily recover any kind of data from a hard drive which is physically healthy without having to format it. In order to do that, just download the Recovery It software. It supports over 100 file formats. It works so efficiently. So here are three easy steps of how you can recover your files. First, after the download, make sure to install the app and launch it on the PC. Secondly, choose the drive that needs to be scanned, select it and begin the scan process. Just hit the start button. Hang on until the scanning gets completed. Look at the files. If you need all of them back, then select everything, or if you need to pinpoint to some specific files, then just select those. Once you're ready with choosing what to save, click the Recover button in order to get your files back. Select the location, and in a few seconds, your files are going to be safe and sound. So this is how you can recover the parameter is incorrect. Annoying statement in Windows 10, 8, even Windows 7, and we showed you a method where we can not only fix it, but also keep your files safe and sound. And yes, Recover It is always there for you. Well, we hope this video was easy to understand and easy to follow. And yeah, make sure to share with us your experience or in case you have any questions, we're expecting you in the comment section below the video to get more practical data solutions. I'll remind you once again to subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael and my job for today is done but I'll make sure to be back with more ideas in just a few days. Bye!